early do you get the ship for load in? On the first day, you mean? For all of your stuff. For all, all of your stuff. Humans come up. True. Yeah, so um, that's one of the difficult things about uh, logistically about running this cruise is that it can never be empty. Um, and it has to be filled with other guests. If we wanted to load in early, we'd have to charter the ship for an additional day or week, depending on the sailings around it. So typically, the ship will return from its previous cruise, uh, get into the port at 6, clear customs at 7.30 or so. At that time, we'd be cleared to enter. Um, our cargo would be in the loading dock, and we'd start to bring it on. And then that's got to contend with all the other supplies uh, that the ship is loading at that time. So. Someone is, someone goes down to a deck, usually me, and begs for our, our stuff to come on. And someone else is out in the out in the pier, uh, trying trying to get that on. And then as soon as it comes on, we try and load it in priority order. And then we're cutting up the open those pallets and uh, either getting shift staff to help bring it up and set it up, uh, or uh, like that, that last year, actually, the IT officer and I carried our, carried a lot of our cargo up. Um, and yeah, it's a mad dash to get that opened and set up before um, the ship reaches zero count, which is when uh, all the guests from the prior sailing debark. That's usually 10, 30, or 11. At that time, we can bring on a lot of staff and then tell them there are maybe 20 of us with special badges who've been cleared to come on. Uh, and then how, many pallets, come on. how many pallets of staff this year? This year, only 25. I'm just a, <laughs> last year, last year we were at forty, but a lot of those were the the work we're evil ladies. Ladies. Yeah. great part. <laughs> Uh, this year we got a, a, a sizable amount on the week prior. Yes, so that's the well, that's the one optimization you can do. This year we actually were able to load everything on the cruise before, uh, including me. So I was on, I was on the ship um, for the sailing before, and I took the I, I came down to Cabo with our cargo and showed housekeeping around, and then flew back from Cabo to do our last San Diego prep, um, and and that was amazing. So by the time we got on, you know, like all of the game. Library boxes were all in the game library, so they just had to build the shelves and tag all the games. And That's kind of a cool thing I never knew about cruise ships to the extent that they always have passengers because they're paying for these ships all the time, so they have to generate revenue except for when they go in about once a year to be updated in different ways. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hear it for Sarah, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.